Welcome to the Jones Center here in Springdale, Arkansas, where your 6-1 Arkansas Razorbacks take on a 2-0 Iowa State Cyclones team. Alongside me today is Corey Porter. My name is EJ Sanders. As we get ready to get started here in this game, Arkansas coming into this game uh, on a winning streak. Three in a row last weekend against DBU, uh, two games against them, and then one against North Texas. Uh, but Arkansas has looked good so far this season and have dominated opponents at home. Uh, only played two team or one team, I should say, ETBU, uh, by a score of 32 to nothing over two games, 16 to nothing apiece in both of those. Corey, uh, we're looking for a more competitive matchup tonight, and we're hoping that uh, Iowa State can rise to the challenge. Yeah, absolutely hope so. You know, you got a, a big name school coming in and a, a team that fields three ACHA hockey teams. So, you know, there's a lot of talent up there in Iowa, and I uh, hope to see some on this team here tonight as the Cyclones come into town. Absolutely. So we're getting ready for the uh, starting lineups in the national anthem here, but Arkansas has been good. Uh, they've built themselves a little dynasty down here in, in this little shoebox of an arena that they call the Jones Center uh, as they get ready to announce the starting lineups. But, uh, you know, last year, national runners up. Uh, Iowa State, a tall task coming into this building. This building is uh, pretty packed, I would say, tonight. Uh, you know, we can only hold about three to 400 people in here if you were to line the boards. Uh, so probably only about two, 250 people in here tonight, but uh, a pretty good crowd on hand. Only. Only, yeah. We always get good crowds, especially here on Friday night. Mm -hmm. A lot of people coming from out of town, and, of course, a, a lot of local fans showing up as well. They're announcing the Iowa State lineup. Uh, Arkansas's lineup will come out of the corner to your left, and here they come. Who's who of Arkansas hockey coming out onto the ice there? All Americans and all SEC player in Arkansas is ready to go uh, for this matchup against Iowa State tonight. We're going to pause for a second here and mute the mic as we play the national anthem. All right, they're about to strap up the helmets and get ready to go as we look at our starting goaltenders for tonight. In goal for Iowa State is going to be Alex Neverve, the junior from San Jose, California. He's got a 1.0 goals against average, 1 and 0 on the season. And in goal for your Arkansas Razorbacks is going to be the perennial sen senior. A little hangover from last year, but Joseph Dusenka, who uh, is from Presov, Slovakia, the senior has been excellent so far this year and his one appearance beat an Oklahoma team that's in Division I by a score of 4-1. to one. So he's looked good, uh, and Arkansas is going to rely on him a lot. 
Yeah, I think they knew that coming into the season, too. Dusank has been in this program for a long time. Back when they had a Division One team as a freshman, played on that team, and then moved to the Division Three team. And uh, he's been a star for him. Absolutely love to see him between the pipes. Hope he hopes he plays well tonight. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll see someone else tomorrow. All right. The players are getting ready for puck drop here at the Jones Center as we get ready to get started here on this Friday night action between Iowa State and Arkansas. Griffin Sugasawar to take the face off here against Donnie Gusky and Gusky wins it back, a D2D pass, and here come the Cyclones right away. Estrada pinching down, he's got Wilson uh, banking down on him as Bruce Kessel, the captain for Iowa State, digs it out of the corner. Arkansas on the near side boards, trying to dig it out of the corner. A shot from Estrada blocked in front, a nice block there by Joey Caputo, centering pass, just missed the stick of Estrada who was skirting towards the net. DeSanka comes out to paddle it down and the All-American Cam McAtee picks it up. Back the other way, McAtee with the puck, outlet pass, finds Sugasawar far side, trying to work through the defense, stick handling move, lost the puck, good defense there by Caputo yet again. Sorry, that's uh, O'Connor. Ethan O'Connor down in the corner. It's gonna be picked up on the near side by the captain again, Bruce Kessel, Bryce Kessel as Estrada chases it down. Estrada bats one off the backboards. McAtee to pick it up here for Arkansas. 19.06 to go here in the first. McAtee across the blue line, trying to skate it across the red line, met there by the defenseman and coming out to play it. There's Never. He'll leave it there for his player. And it's a backhand pass up the far side there by Lynch. Outlet pass, stopped down there at the blue line by Odeline and it's touched up for an offside. We'll have our first stoppage of the period. No shots so far. Arkansas has a habit of getting shots early and getting goals early. They do, but it's been a little bit of back and forth so far. Both teams seeing time in the offensive zone. Face off one back here. It's picked up by Arkansas. They'll send it down into the zone. That's Romero. Picked up on the backboards by Lynch. Lynch lifts it out of the zone looking for the outlet. It's tipped ahead and Alex Robinson streaking. Odeline will dump it back in. He gives chase. Chasing down after it, there's Kevin Lynch. Lynch gets pounded against the boards. Robinson to pick it up. He'll take a hit and absorb one there from Romero. Cruz dumps it back into the zone for the Hogs. Iowa State tit for tat right now as Herricks picked it up and there's a whistle. Buck will come all the way back down to the Arkansas zone. Not sure what the call was there. Might have been a delayed offside. If you don't check up the offside, generally they'll bring it back to your own zone. Looks like that's what happened here. Face off to be taken by Jack Raphael for Iowa State. He's going against Michael Ellis. Ellis wins the face off back, chasing after it's Romero. Romero with the puck, backhand pass, far side, Cruz stick handling there. Right-handed stick, looking for a place to pass it to. Finds Patterson, misses his stick, outlet pass back the other way. Comes Caputo. Caputo gets his stick lifted though. Arkansas able to hold him at the blue line. And here's Romero. Romero with the puck. Looking for a man far side, finds Cruz. Cruz stick handling, leaves it for Romero. And he loses the puck. A big hit on the far side. Iowa State has brought the physicality early. Neverve coming after him. It's wheeled along the boards there by Jarecki. Comes up to the near side now, picked off by Rees. Rees centering pass is broken up in front by Jarecki. Jarecki bank pass. Picked off there by Deskier. Shot blocked down and is tipped ahead and skating it out of the zone. There's Caputo. Caputo backhands one along. He goes for a change. Near side now, McLean trying to break into the zone. He'll dump and chase. Arkansas wearing the white uniform, skating from your left to right. Iowa State with the puck going from right to left. Now it's pinned along the far side boards. Arkansas trying to work it out of there with 17-17 to play in the first. Banked off the boards. Arkansas will get it back. Shot by McLean is blocked aside. Nice save by Neverve. Scherer knocks it along the boards. McLean gives chase. Has to avoid the hit there. O'Connor able to knock it off his stick and it's cleared out of the zone. The skier with it will dump it back in. Tried to skate it down to O'Connor. O'Connor back behind the net, helping his goaltender Neverve out. O'Connor near side boards. The right handed stick finds a man. A hit is lined up there by Arkansas. They steal the puck away into the offensive zone, but it's batted down and out the other way come the Cyclones. Cyclones having a tough time getting control of it. And here comes Arkansas the other way. That's Hershey. Hershey, a little stick handling move around one, but shut down in front of the net. Nice job there by Joey Caputo, who just came onto the ice. We'll have our first stoppage. 16.34 to go in the first period of action. Face 
Face off, one over near side. It's taken away by Iowa State. They'll send it along the boards. Up the far side now, and here come the Cyclones out of the zone. Near side boards trying to break out of the zone. That's going to be Eriks the other way. Arkansas with the puck, LaPlante. Bank pass near side, finds McAtee, his D partner. Will find an outlet pass, hits the stick of his man into the zone. Drop pass, shot, his glove down. Nice job there. And falling to the ice is Heurman for Arkansas. 16.07 to go in the first period. Arkansas with the majority of the action on their end of the ice. Face off will be to the right of the goaltender, Neverv. Sugasawara to take it. For Arkansas. It's one back there by Donnie Gusky. Sent along the near side boards. Arkansas trying to pin it down. Chasing after it in the corner now is Herricks. They're going to call a hand pass here. So another offensive zone faceoff for the Hawks. Arkansas likes to start fast. Just over four minutes gone here and have not put a point up on the board. You know, they don't like to see that, but they're going to try to keep up that offensive zone pressure and see if they can get one past this goaltender. We'll come outside the Iowa State zone. Zach Wilson to take it for Arkansas. His faceoff's won back by the Cyclones. A D to D pass, finds his man. Caught in the skates of Bryce Kessel. Sent to the near side now. D partner O'Connor gets hit there. Kessel. Up to far side now, they look to break out and into the offensive zone. And an offside is going to be blown dead. Couldn't get control of the puck on the far side, Donnie Gusky. Good breakout there for the Cyclones. Real crisp passing, just didn't work out for it the, this time, but definitely looked to be dangerous on the breakout. And Arkansas has got to be on their toes, ready to be on their heels skating backwards. Done well so far to shut them down at the blue line, but that can't last all night. Iowa State. Probably going to make some adjustments to get the puck into the zone. As they win the puck ahead, Robinson trying to skate this one on goal. Fires a shot, and Dusanka sees his first action of the night and gets a quick whistle. That's a hometown whistle. Yeah, that's one, one way to do it. Just win the faceoff, step right in, and get a shot away. But Dusanka's going to stop most of those and doesn't give up a whole lot of rebounds either. Good job on him to cover it up. Zillig to take the face off. No, he'll skate off the ice. They're going to bring on their top line. Donnie Gusky onto the ice now. He's got O'Connor behind him, along with Michael Lupo. On the far side, Fremel's on the ice as well. Odeline skating it along. Estrada's going to pick it up in the corner. He just bats it along. Near side boards, Arkansas chasing after. Romero in the corner. Big collision there. Picked up by Odeline far side now. He'll try to bank one off the boards and out of the zone successfully. Checking up the offsides, Iowa State as Odeline skates it back into his own zone. The right-handed stick has a man pressuring him. Estrada trying to bat it into the offensive zone. Chips it ahead. Arkansas trying to work it along. Linesman gets in the way. Small ice out there. Three extra bodies is a lot. Arkansas near side now. Romero. Kind of fans at it there. Arkansas are going to regroup though as they get it back to Romero. He's got his D partner. Ops for the man up ahead, and that's Estrada. Sorry, Patterson giving chase now for Arkansas. O'Connor whiffs on the pass though, and Patterson's chasing after it. He bats it down to himself. Backhanded pass in front, blocked down nicely by Robinson. Robinson in the corner fighting for it. Cruz in there now for Arkansas. A huge hit lined up. Puck came trickling out to the low slot, but Arkansas not able to capitalize. Sent back down the ice by Carson Hilt. Comes down to the near side boards. Looking to break out is Ellis. Ellis leaves the pass there for Cruz. Cruz has Patterson near side. Patterson breaking into the zone. High circle tries to chip one along. Ellis down there to field it. He gets met there by Caputo. Outlet pass blocked down at the blue line. Nice job by Deskier pinching down from the D spot. Now Iowa State's looking to regroup. Trying to break out again. A big hit in the corner. Arkansas trying to steal the puck away. Cruz down there to try to dig it out. Patterson along with him, and it comes back to Ellis at the blue line. Ellis loads up a shot, it's blocked down in front of him. Nice job by Raphael. And back the other way comes Kessel. Bryce Kessel, a big body skating in front as Rees whiffs on a pass. Only his second game of the season, 13.44 to go in the first period. Arkansas 
in their own defensive zone, trying to dig the puck out, and they find Patterson. Patterson, little outlet pass, finds Cruz. Cruz across the blue line, offensive zone, lays the pass off. The skier streaking to the net. Nice back check there by Gusky. And here come the Cyclones with a head of steam the other way. This is Garcia, stopping move, gets stood up there, and Rees will flip it out of play. We'll have another stoppage. Six minutes, 37 seconds gone in the first, and we can take a breather. Absolutely, great back and forth as uh, more fans continue to pour into the Jones Center here. We got a, an exciting one going on so far. Face off, one back. Checked along. Centering pass broken up by Rees, getting his big body in front. Played back to the blue line by Garcia. Shot in front, comes tipping wide right through the slot. Bueller sends it along. A back pass to the point. Gusky finds his man there, skating with its Lynch. Lynch sends a pass along, and Arkansas is able to bat it out of the zone. Diving after its Cruz at the end of a shift. Cruz going straight to the bench. Another shot sticked up and out of play. Great job by the goaltender, Joseph Dusanka, to get in front of that one. Yeah, Iowa State had three players streaking in. Two of them waited up at the blue line. It took off right as the puck crossed. Excellent entry there, but a good job on Dusenka clearing that up and out of play. And they'll get a face off to his left side. Face off will come to the left of Dusenka, like you said, Corey. Face off is going to be taken here by Zillig for Iowa State. He'll win it back, but can't quite hold the blue line and chasing after it here. Is Lupo. Lupo, a D2D pass, far side O'Connor, who's gotten a lot of shifts so far. It's gloved ahead. Arkansas knocks it down, and here comes McAtee. McAtee with a man on him. Valentini kind of got in the way and got shoved to the ice. Back the other way comes O'Connor. O'Connor near side, finds Robinson, outlet pass into the offensive zone the other way. This is Har. Har, back pass, shot saved by Nusenka. What a save by the Arkansas goaltender. Wheeled back along in front. Cyclones fire, another shot wide of the net. Near side boards comes McLean. And he'll break it out of the zone, looking for Valentini, chasing after it. No icing here. They wave it off. Lupo absorbs a hit and gets the better of Valentini in the corner. Arkansas turns it back at the blue line. This is McAtee. Stopping move. Fires a shot high and out of play. And we'll have another stoppage. Let's go back to that save. Face off will come to the left of the Cyclones. Goaltender Alex Deverb in goal. Sent along here. Far side now, skating after it. The Arkansas player gets checked into the boards. That's Ian Lotz, one of the freshmen for the Arkansas Razorbacks. He's checked there. A couple of Iowa State Cyclones trying to dig it out of there, including Fremel. Arkansas with it behind the net. Lots trying to stick handling move. He gets shoved in the near side boards. That's O'Connor again all over the ice. Borless with it for Arkansas. Centering pass goes off the side of the net and it's broken up by the Cyclones. Arkansas takes it back at the blue line. This is Laplante. Laplante trying to send it around the boards, chasing after it in front. There's Borless. Another centering pass is broken up. Back to the flu line. McAtee stick handling move around one. Banks the pass to himself. Makes a turning move on the outer hash. Sends one back to the point. Shot through traffic. Goes wide of the net. Finally picked up and batted along the boards. Hits a stanchion and finally chipped out of the zone. Good tic-tac passing. But McAtee, Johnny on the spot. Able to knock that one down and turn it back for Arkansas in game possession. McAtee wants to turn it up quickly as possible. Here comes McAtee with Borlas in his hip pocket. His old man kind of getting in the way of a big rush there as Lotz can't control the puck cleanly in the corner and back the other way come the Cyclones. This is Carson Hilt. Hilt sends one into the zone. He'll go for a change and chasing after it there is Jarecki. Near side boards, Borlas tries to chip it along. It's turned away at the blue line by the Cyclones. Arkansas gets it back and here come the other way. Hershey into the zone. Hershey with Estrada. Near side boards, Wilson lines up a hit. And opting to dump it in there are the Cyclones. 10-28 to go, first period. 
Stick handling, McAtee with it, throws it off the back of the net to himself. Outlet pass now finds Estrada. Arkansas with their top line on the ice. Estrada digs it out of there, sends it along for Sugasawar. Sugasawar gets bumped off the puck. A nice play there by Raphael. And it's centered. A shot kicked down in front, two on one the other way, but the Cyclones can't handle the puck. Turned away at the red line, and Romero turns it back into the zone for Arkansas. Chasing after it there, into the corner was Lynch. He'll send it hard around the boards, kept in by O-line. He'll just dump one down, and Arkansas can't control it. One on two the other way. Skating into the zone as Michael Garcia makes two stick handling moves and then just dumps it as he'll go get a change. 10 minutes, 12 seconds gone here in this first period. Dumped along by Cruz, chasing after it in the corner there is Lupo. Lupo with the puck in the corner. Lupo sends one along and bounces over the stick of Romero, and Arkansas will give chase again. Old line with Robinson in his hip pocket, makes a stopping move, tries to skate it along. Tied up in a couple of skates, finally tipped ahead and back the other way and taken down there. No penalty. Right in front of the pinch, Cruz looked like he was about to bat it by and get a breakaway. Arkansas has got to regroup instead. Rees with the puck in the corner. Sends one off, comes back to the near side, Patterson. Patterson across the blue line, red line, into the offensive zone, knocked down there by Zillig. Zillig sends it back to his captain. And a stopping move by O'Connor, he loses the puck. Left out front, shot is high of the net. Ellis had an opportunity there for the Hogs. Outlet pass, far side, banked off the boards, and Arkansas will pick up the puck. Quick change by the Cyclones, who are going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Razorbacks tonight. The skier shot gloved down, and Neverve will freeze it. 8.41 to go in the first. Yeah, finally a stop for Iowa State. It seemed like they were struggling to get a change on two different occasions on that long stretch. And uh, Arkansas is definitely yelling at each other, trying to get uh, get themselves to take advantage of those change and catch them in a change. So something to watch for here as this game progresses. Faceoff will come to the left of Neverve. Arkansas big faceoff here with Sharon in the circle. And they just hold the line, just batted down. Nicely done by Rees on his offhand there. Valentini giving chase. He'll send it back to the point to skier back skating, gathers the puck, sends it hard around the boards. Valentini tried to stick after it, but couldn't get it. Krapevsky in the corner, picks up the puck. Arkansas centering pass out front. McLean's backhand shut down by Neverve. Back behind the net. Another hit stood up there by Valentini. Backhanded along. The skier leaves it there for McLean. McLean has a man near side, gets it to him. Rees has an opportunity, throws it towards the net. It's blocked down in front of him. Nice job by Gusky as it finally gets cleared out of the zone by the Cyclones. Rees will turn it back, and Arkansas will get a quick change with their defenseman. Rees having to stay on just a little bit longer. Not able to get a change as he's the near side defenseman. Puck comes back to the neutral zone for the Cyclones. They'll dump it deep. Desenka comes out, paddles it down, turns it back behind the net. McLean will switch sides with Rees. Rees should be able to get a change here shortly. It's McLean's. Pass goes to the far side, and Valentini will bat it out of play. Rees finally getting off the ice. 7.38 to go, first period. The shots would favor Arkansas right now, but only slightly. Yeah, Arkansas is definitely putting the pressure on, but again, you see Iowa State with these rushes, and they, they haven't been able to get in with more than one or two guys thus far, but they're looking dangerous at times. Faceoff will come outside the zone, Salter. Leaves it for Laplante. Laplante just throws it into the zone. A kick save there by Neverve. Well, might have been going wide of the net. McAtee will pinch down from his D spot as the puck goes up into the air. It's loose in front of the net. Arkansas with it. A backhanded opportunity goes begging. Hershey with the opportunity there. Lots giving chase. Hershey down in the corner trying to dig it out of there. Arkansas does come away with it. Hershey's shot goes right over the shoulder. Neverve was ready for that one. Arkansas holds the blue line. It's Cam McAtee. Centering pass again. Looking for Lots in front. That's Hershey who digs at it and fires a shot. And just getting out of dodge is Alex Neverve. And the San Jose, California native is keeping the Cyclones in this game and keeping Arkansas off the board. Yeah, he's looked great so far. Even his movement after he covered up that puck, you could tell he's been playing goaltender for a long time and uh, probably a key piece of this Iowa State team. Base off to be taken by Truman Hershey from South Lake, Texas, one of the freshmen on this Arkansas team. It's turned back towards the net. Hewerman picks it up. Now McAtee throws a low shot. Another save there by Neverve. Yeah, the Hogs are going to have to work tonight. Pretty small stature in net, but he sees the puck well. So 
Alter wins it to the near side boards. McAtee winds up a slapper, sends one down low, tip towards the net. Nice job. Boy, Truman Hershey's had a good start to this season for the Razorbacks. Showing why he's been an excellent addition. Six foot, foot tall, 200 pounds. Definitely gonna need some production from these guys this season. All three freshmen on the ice, or at least newcomers to this Arkansas team. As it's batted down the corner, O'Connor to pick it up for the Cyclones. He'll bat one near side. They're gonna work it out of the zone. Far side now, it banks off the boards and picked up there by Haar. Haar just dumps it into the zone and Arkansas gives chase. LaPlante whiffs on a pass, left the puck there. Robinson not able to get it either. That Puck turned into a phantom for a second. It is October. Near side boards, Arkansas dumps it out, comes trickling down end over end, and finally picked up and turned aside by Lupo. Lupo back to the neutral zone, Robinson there, and finally picked up by Hershey. Far side now, it's LaPlante looking for the outlet, throws it down all the way on goal. No icing here, picked up now by Lupo. Lupo with the puck. Stick handling, sends one to the near side boards. It comes all the way down, and that's gonna be an icing. Iowa State will have to get every single player back out onto the ice that was just out there. 6.04 to go in the first. Yeah, look for Arkansas to try to take advantage of that with fresh legs and uh, really trying to catch Iowa State in a change if they do get outside of the zone here. Base off will come to the left. Of Neverv. Wilson to take it and sends it to Sugasawar, whose low shot is gloved down. That one was going wide again, but Neverb not taking any chances. Much simpler plan than I had, just a quick shot off the face off. And a good save by Neverb once again. They've looked excellent tonight, this Iowa State team, in their own zone as well as the offensive zone. The majority of the possession's been down on this end, though, for Arkansas. Iowa State. Doing well in the first two thirds, just need to break into the zone and get an opportunity. Down low, skating with its Wilson. He gets held up there and back the other way come the Cyclones. But it's held in again by Sugasawara who gets tripped up. I think that was under his own power and a big hit laid on but left the puck as Romero. Now it's a two on one the other way. Garcia's shot, stick to side. Back in positions, Dusenka. Far side of the net, Gusky. Gusky can't quite get it back to the point. Stumped back in by the Cyclones but they'll have to check up the offside. Romero's hit cost him a two on one. Sure that'll be a point of emphasis in the locker room as Sugasawara breaks by, fires a low shot, saved by Neverve. steered aside now, and Arkansas still has control, Odeline with it. Tries a bank pass down into the corner, Estrada picks it up, trying to center it there. He's shut down by Kerpevsky. Now Estrada in the corner, he's got a fight for Gusky now. Gusky and Kerpevsky down there trying to get the puck loose. Wilson back to the blue line. O-line shot through traffic, rebound in front. <laughs> Estrada couldn't find it. He's going to go to the box for a goaltender interference. I think that's the right call as well. Actually, they're going to blow it dead. He hasn't blown it dead yet. Arkansas touched it twice. Wasn't certain which team it was on. But yeah, it's going to be a goaltender interference here on uh, Estrada. Yeah, he was right up in the crease and bumped him as that shot came in, and that's the only reason that rebound was even there. The El Monte, and California native, Bradley Estrada, and Arkansas will go on the penalty kill. Faceoff will come to the right of Joseph Dusenka. This one's one back and played back to the blue line. Arkansas will try to steal it away, but it's taken down low. A centering pass out front, jabbed at there, and Dusenka shuts the door. McAtee back to the blue line, picked up here. Another pass down low is steered aside. Fremel trying to pick up the puck. McAtee chasing after it now. Far side boards. He gets pegged there by Jarecki. Jarecki in the corner, trying to dig it out of there, though, is Har. Har. As McAtee just killing off time in the corner, a minute and a half to go in the penalty. And Arkansas breaks it out the other way. Here comes Trevor McLean with a head of steam, just throws one towards the net, kind of handcuffs the goaltender, and they'll have to freeze the puck. That's absolutely a win for Arkansas as well. You get an offensive zone faceoff as you've already killed off nearly half of this penalty. Great job by McAtee to tie it up in the corner, and Iowa State's going to have to win a faceoff. Arkansas 76% on the penalty kill. And the power play is 50-50 for Iowa State thus far. They're three for six through two games. 
Here come the Cyclones, near side boards. Breaking out of the zone, into the offensive zone comes Hilt. Hilt gets shoved along there. Back behind the nets, LaPlante. He'll send it down the ice. He's one of the better defensemen at doing the, just that. Him and Odeline and McAtee, all three of them, very good behind their own net. Breaking out of the zone now, far side boards is Harris. Harris sends it down along the near side boards, picked up here by Hilt. Hilt turns it back. Arkansas trying to get control of the puck. So it goes back behind the net. Arkansas picks it up there. That's LaPlante. He'll try to freeze it in the corner. LaPlante not wanting to move the puck. Just tying it up between his skates. It's McAtee with a stick check there. Comes back to the point near side now. Picked up by Herricks. Herricks on his backhand. Trying to turn it down low. McAtee steals it away. McAtee has a man on the outlet. And here comes Ellis the other way. It's a two on one. Cruz on the back post. Shoots, scores! Short-handed! And Arkansas takes a one to nothing lead. Off one here by Iowa State. They'll take it back into the zone. A short side shot's taken here by Huberman. After the shot, he stick down the corner. The penalty's still on here for ISU. And Arkansas about to get a successful kill and a goal. A short-handed goal as Arkansas is back to five on five. Near side boards, Borlas giving chase now as it's dumped along the boards, back behind the net. A lot of momentum on Arkansas' side. The home crowd was brought to their feet with that last goal. Down low, Hershey can't knock his man off the puck. A shot through traffic, nice save. Bryce Kessel got one on goal, but Arkansas takes the puck away. Borlas trying to shove one along, not ready for it was Rees, but Arkansas regroups. This is Deskier, Deskier with the puck. Far side, Hershey, smart play on the back pass, has Rees, Rees gonna play it up near side. Deskier just chips it ahead and Borlas gives chase. Borlas coming after it, coming out of the goal to play. It's Never, comes to the near side boards and out of the zone, comes Caputo. Arkansas steals it away though. This is Brad Estrada. Took the penalty, but Arkansas scored on that penalty kill. He gets taken down from behind, no call. Pretty good takedown if you ask me. Estrada back behind his own, or behind the opposing goal line, finally bats one along. Borlas with it, sends it along, finds his man, Hershey. 146 to go in the period. Outlet pass, stolen away as Odeline's shot is blocked down. Nice job there by Haar, but Arkansas still has control of the puck in the offensive zone. Pinching down hard in the offensive zone's Romero. He's gonna chase after it, he finds Borlas. Borlas, a backhand, tries to throw it in front of the net, but the Cyclones are good at keeping it out of the front of their net. Odeline with the puck, and they're gonna blow it dead for an ice. 1.23 to go, first period, and a big, big break for Arkansas. Yeah, Arkansas strikes first. We know they're good killing off penalties. Usually see Trevor McLean out there, but twice in the defensive zone with both McAtee and LaPlante tied the puck up until they were ready to break out, created an odd man rush, even down a man in an excellent shot by Ellis to find the back of the net. Shot there from the point, McAtee off the faceoff. Hobbles an Iowa State player, check in the corner there. Arkansas trying to get the puck back, holding the lines. McAtee goes down to the low circle, near side, skates it back behind the Cyclones net. Centering pass, finds Sugusawara, shot blocked down in front. Nice job there by Haar. Can just barely clear the blue line, and LaPlante with the puck. One minute to go here in the first period. A big hit there, no call. Again, Wilson gets checked up high in the head. Near side boards. Picked up by McAtee to Wilson, comes chipping along. Arkansas trying to hold the line, cannot. Back the other way, into the offensive zone comes Robinson. Robinson with the puck, below the goal line, centering pass off the skate of McAtee. 42 seconds to go in the period. Wilson, a little touch pass, finds Sugasawara with a head of steam. The left-handed stick trying to chip it by and in front of the goal. But Neverve able to track it and glove it down. 34 seconds to go in the first. Boy, Arkansas is... Uh, Got to make sure they don't get too heated about some of the no calls here. I mean, it's hard to, for one referee to officiate an entire hockey game. That's a small ice surface. Uh, I think he's got it covered.
Face off one here, near side boards, Arkansas trying to play it along. Ellis picks it up here, centering pass goes off the back of the net. He's shoved down. Nice job there by Kessel for the Cyclones. Back the other way. Arkansas knocks it down. Here comes Cam McAtee, right-handed stick, offensive zone. Stick handles to the outside, shut down there. Nice job, good defense by Herricks. He made McAtee lose his glove. Herricks is just palming the puck. He's got his glove over top of the puck there. Nine seconds to go in the period. Boy, the Cyclones really don't want Arkansas to score another one, and they're just keeping them out of the front of the net. That low slot area is going to be uh, going to be tough to get by. Yeah, I, I mean, I mentioned the stature of the goaltender, Naverve, earlier, but it's true, too, and it's really a good game plan. Keep traffic out in front of our goaltender so we can see and make the excellent saves that we see he can make uh, that he's already done here tonight. So keep the traffic in front of him to a minimum, and uh, I think you'll get another good period out of him as we look to close the final nine seconds of this first one, and it looks like Arkansas will go on the power play. Arkansas does buy a power play out of this. Nine seconds to go. Looked like the, looked like Herrick's put his glove over top of the puck, which is not something you can do when you're sprawled out on the ice like that. I'm not certain if that was the penalty called. But Cam McAtee able to buy his team a penalty here. Nine seconds to go in the period. Comes to the near side boards, is banked along the boards. Wilson holds it here. Wilson throws it towards the net and a couple of sticks waving at it. Three seconds to go in the period. A good opportunity there for the Hawks. Quick shot by Wilson, and that was Suga Sawara in front who tried to get a tip on it, just missed it. Neverve able to make the save. Arkansas will have to work a little bit quicker here. They got their best faceoff man in there, and Ellis. Ellis trying to win it ahead to himself and just sitting on it there. Yeah, Cyclones wise to that one. Wilson with a late shot. And we'll go into this first intermission. Arkansas leading one to nothing, and they'll come back in the second with a minute 51 remaining on that power play. Excellent first period here for the Hogs. And what had stuck out to you, Corey? You know, Iowa State came to play. Uh, I think they're playing hard. They break out of their zone well. They had one great scoring opportunity, but an excellent save uh, thrown out the left pad by Joseph Jasenka, kept him off the store scoreboard. And then uh, the goaltending play. Neverve on the other side has been excellent as well, making a lot of tough saves. The one shot that beat him was just an excellent shot by Michael Ellis, and that's the difference here. Absolutely, and Arkansas on his on their end, they're breaking out of the zone well. They're playing 100% of the ice really well. Uh, it's been a while since we've seen an Arkansas team this good in their own defensive zone. Uh, they're doing a lot of the same stuff that Iowa State is doing, uh, but on the other end, like you were saying, Neverve able to see everything in front of the net. It's going to be tough sledding whenever he gets in front of the net tonight. So we'll see how Arkansas makes those adjustments in the locker room. They'll have a power play when they come out. Don't go anywhere. First intermission starts now. We'll be back in 15 minutes.
here at the Jones Center in Springdale, Arkansas, where your Arkansas Razorbacks lead by a score of one to nothing. Alongside me is Corey Porter. My name is EJ Sanders. That first period was a doozy. And if it's a preview of things to come, Arkansas better be ready for the ensuing periods. Absolutely. I, I think they're both getting a wake-up call. Arkansas seeing their toughest Division Three test. Uh, to this point in Iowa State running into an Arkansas team that they really haven't seen a whole lot of, but finding out what uh, hockey at this school really means. Arkansas plays hard. They have a good team. They have had good teams for a long time. Returning a lot of players from last year's national championship runner-up team, and uh, they're, they're playing like it. They're playing for something big this season, and they know that, and they, uh, they really got to pass these tests against these types of opponents. Well, so far, test number one is passed, if only by a slight margin. Arkansas, though, in the long change period, we'll see how this Iowa State team changes things up as well. But they have to kill off the last uh, minute 52, I believe, minute 51 of this power play that Arkansas is currently on. Alex Neverb has looked good in goal for this Cyclones team, as well as Joseph Dusenk on the other end. Both of them have made absolutely stellar saves to keep their teams really close in this game. Arkansas, the majority of the chances in that first period, but the chances that the Cyclones are getting are dangerous. Absolutely, and I think they're limiting Arkansas's chances. Arkansas is getting their shots away, but they're doing a good job keeping the traffic out from in front of the net and really not a lot of rebounds given up by Neverve in front of his own net, so that plays into the low scoring as well. All right, we're ready to puck drop in the second period as Gusky to take it here for the Cyclones against Ellis for Arkansas. Puck is dropped. It's free at center ice at Arkansas half first. Dibs at it here as Sugasawar works to the near side boards and just tries to get into the zone as quickly as possible. 1.41 to go on the power play for Arkansas and it's sent down to the other end by Gusky. This is an old man line out there. A lot of juniors and seniors on the ice for this Iowa State team currently. They do have 15 guys who are upperclassmen on this team as Sugasawara works it into the zone. Sugasawara on his backhand, turns it in the corner. Estrada loads up a shot, glove save. Nice job there by Neverb, and we'll have our first stoppage. Yeah, great glove save there, and another case of really not a lot of traffic in front for Arkansas. Good job by the Cyclones to clear those lanes and let their goaltender go to work. Face off to the left of Neverb. Face off one back by Arkansas. McAtee at the blue line, has to backhand one along, finds Estrada down low. Puck gets up on an edge, but Sugasawara able to tame it. Comes back to the point now, McAtee near side has Wilson. Arkansas is gonna try to work this sort of box defense. As it's sent back down the ice by Gusky, and we cross the one minute mark of this power play. Arkansas has another minute to work though. They'll try to work it up the far side boards. Into the zone comes Wilson, near side of Strada. Strada crosses the blue line. He's got a head of steam, looking for a man in front. Tries to wrap it around and shutting him down. The far side is Neverve. Near side boards now, this is Wilson. High circle, sends it to the other high circle. The McAtee at the point, who winds up a howitzer. Rebound out front, couldn't control it to Sawara, And he takes a high hit there. Nice job to shut him down by O'Connor. 28 seconds to go in the power play. Sugasawara whiffs on it there. Gonna buy himself some space in the near side corner. Trying to dig it out of there. Sugasawara lays a soft pass near side outer hash. Back to the point. Sent a one-time pass down low from McAtee. Quick stick check and trying to keep it in the zone is Arkansas. As it bounds around and back the other way comes Har. Har's got a one-on-one -on -one with McAtee. And the All-American defenseman shuts him down. Little can opener there. Got away with one. Did McAtee. And here he comes the other way. This unit had the entirety of the power play time for Arkansas, trying to wear down that top penalty kill unit. Into the zone comes Arkansas. They're chasing after it. O'Connor down in the corner. Coming down now is Fermel. Centering pass there by Sher is just going to be stopped down there by Neverve. So a few good chances there for Arkansas. We'll go back to that one by Estrada. Great glove save there by Neverve. Arkansas had a few shots, but shut down for the most part. Good penalty kill by the Cyclones. Face off. One 
here by the Cyclones. Arkansas trying to get it away, though, as it comes back behind the net, picked up here by Lupo. Left on the far side, and a huge hit loaded up there by Romero. Arkansas holds the line shot off the side of the net. Looked like it was in for a second. Valentini with it back down below the goal line. Back to the point, Romero bringing some life into the crowd, and he gets the better of another hit at the blue line. Arkansas steals it away in the offensive zone, but a nice job by Gusky. Patiently knocks it back out to the neutral zone, trying to control it. Here are the Cyclones. Another shot low and wide. Picked up at the goal line there by Fermel. Fermel's shot is knocked down, sent along to the far side. McLean with time, just tries to jab it out of the zone and does. Arkansas flying around the ice right now. Old line with it. And a chip, a backhand pass to the near side boards. Valentini calmly plays it back to him on the one two. And here comes Odeline. Odeline with a lot of space to work with. Offensive zone, right handed stick. Odeline centering passes, batted up into the air. Good defensive play there by Bueller. Arkansas back to the point. Romero shots blocked down, and it's the three on two the other way if they hustle. Here comes Haar into the offensive zone. Haar, high circle, leaves one there, and a nice poke check by Odeline. Turned back by Valentini, a two on two the other way. Into the offensive zone, McLean shots low and stopped. Nice butterfly save by Neverve. Excellent defensive play on the other side, led to an offensive chance. Neverve did make the save, but Arkansas turning defense into offense, and offense into scoring chances, but that goaltender on the other side has something to say about it. Faceoff will come to the right of Neverv. Patterson to take it for Arkansas. And it's one back here by Iowa State. Kessel along the boards. Has a man far side, it's jabbed off the boards there, but Arkansas takes it away. Picked up here by McAtee, a little fake pass. Has a man out front, offs the skate around with it. Sends it back to the point and misses on that pass. A rare miss there from McAtee. Kusanka sends one back behind his own net, picked up here by LaPlante, sends it to the near side board, stolen away by the Cyclones, down low, shot off the side of the net. Nice job getting in position as Raphael's shot goes begging. McAtee on the breakout now for the Hogs. McAtee on the far side, has some space to work, sends one across, picked up here, low shot, rebound out front, score! Arkansas takes a 2 to nothing lead as Cruz comes piling in. What a pass by Cam McAtee to get that one to Ian Lotz. And Ian Lotz makes that play happen. Throws a low shot for a rebound. And Kyle Cruz comes barreling home for the goal. Excellent shot there by Lotz. And like you said, Cruz just straight down the pipe there for the rebound. Not many given up yet by Neverv, but Arkansas makes them pay big time for that one as they extend their lead to two to zero. Absolutely rocking here at the Jones Center. It's cool to hear a hog call yet again. An empty stadium last year, basically, and it's nice to have fans back. Arkansas will have to kill off the penalty, though. As what you may have missed was LaPlante's infraction there during the hog call, and we'll have Five on four action for Iowa State. Got scored on shorthanded earlier by Arkansas. They don't want that to happen again. Taking the face off here is going to be Fremel. He'll win it back, but Arkansas is going to steal it away as Hewerman skates one along. Hewerman, one of the freshmen. This one comes up into the bench and a nice catch there. Not the start that Iowa State was looking for. Well, you get the faceoff win back, and immediately the defenseman retreating on that one. Yeah, just a little dribbler in no man's land. It was Bryce Kessel, one of the captains. As Fermel does his job again. A little miscommunication by the Iowa State defenseman. Finally picked up here, and here comes Kessel. Kessel near side boards, trying to break it out of the zone, far side from Fermel into the offensive zone, but it's batted aside. Nice job by Deskier, and tied up, and here comes Ewerman trying to take the puck away. Doesn't have a glove on. Lost that back behind the net. A little bit of paraphernalia on the ice. 
Urban's got to get back on defense, skating into the zone. A good offensive play there by the Cyclones. No penalty called there. Arkansas brought him down kind of awkwardly there. Comes back to the point, picked up here. Kessel, D to D pass, has a man. Left down low now on the outer hash, skated along into the zone. Comes Har, Har down low, finds his man. Wheeled back along there by Raphael. Arkansas back to the points. Left here. Kessel loads up a shot. It's tipped in front, but Arkansas picks up the loose puck. And Deskier sends it down the ice. One minute gone here in the power play for the Cyclones. Huberman's glove still laying idly behind the net. Near side boards looking to break it out of the zone. Hilt, Hilt with the puck, stick handling. And the Cyclones look discombobulated in their own zone this period. A complete turnaround from the first period. 14.02 to go in the second period. They're on a power play right now, but just cannot get regrouped. Up the center of the ice, into the offensive zone comes Gusky. Gusky centering pass, knocked down by Arkansas and sent back the other way. Great job by Scherer. McLean coming down to do what he does best. And that has caused pressure on the PK. McLean back checking now, shut down near the blue line by Odeline, but a free shot, a pass in front. Nice job there by Garcia to find his man streaking, but a good job by Arkansas to knock it away. Garcia can't handle it. Three seconds to go in the Iowa State power play. They'll send it back to the point, and Arkansas kills it off. Down low, Odeline has a cherry picker. That's Brad Estrada. This one's gloved down. Estrada trying to chase after it here. This one's tipped into the zone. Arkansas has got to check it up, and they do. Back the other way comes O'Connor. O'Connor into the zone, fires a shot off the butt of the stick. Just getting big there was Dusenka. Another shot saved down, and Joseph Dusenka is a treasure. He makes the tough saves. He makes the saves he should make. Good angles. Arkansas is going to miss him after this year. I can guarantee you that. Faceoff will come to his right. Wilson to take it for Arkansas. Five on five action right now is. It's banked off the boards. McAtee tries to send it out of the zone. LaPlante is shut down there. Near side boards. Haar pinching down. He's going to get the puck away. Arkansas finally gets the puck back, and here comes Estrada near side. He'll dump one in, end over end. Comes down to the offensive zone. Estrada forechecking there. Arkansas, huge hit on the near side boards. He's pressuring Kurpevsky in the corner. Big hit laid on again. You Iowa State players down there sent hard around the boards, comes wheeling around. McAtee gathers it there, makes a stick handling move around one. McAtee fires one towards the net high. Pinching down now, picked up by Arkansas. A little kick save off the weak shot by LaPlante. Banked off the boards, LaPlante spanks it back into the zone. Picked up here by Arkansas, that's Sugasawara. A one-time SEC player of the year. Back when Arkansas was in the SEC HC. This one comes back. As Iowa State having issues breaking out of the zone right now. Wilson centering pass, back pass, back post, glove save, goes high. Another shot there by LaPlante, batted aside by the blocker. Arkansas with a lot of pressure. Estrada having to dodge the referee. He brings a man down from behind, no call. A little hand pass in the zone, held in by Arkansas. Suga Sawara gets blown offside, and oh my, that was really close. Here's the hand pass, but right here, watch. Oh, just clears the zone. Good call by the linesman. Coach Sims just shrugs his shoulders. Move on to the next play, 11.40 to go, second period. Now move it to the far faceoff dot, as it's deemed the nearer faceoff dot to that play. Faceoff to be taken here by Rafael and Ellis for Arkansas. One back by the Cyclones, but they're just having a tough time getting those loose pucks. Arkansas will dump it back in to skier hard off the end boards. It's kind of mishandled there by Neverve. And Cruz lays a big hit in the corner. Whiffed at there by Arkansas. The puck is loose in front and finally taken away by Raphael. Lays a pass off, stick handling, but Arkansas takes it back. Cruz has a man on the far side. Blew a tire, though. Near side now. Picked up by Caputo. He gets run into Arkansas. Fans are cheering for every little hit. O'Connor near side to skier lining a man up. Not really his game as this one comes all the way down. And it's going to be blown dead for an icing. Pretty quick whistle there. 11.02 to go in the second. 
Yeah, Arkansas knows when to turn on the physicality. They're not going to hit you all game, but they're going to pick their key moments when they want to bully you around, and uh, they do it well. Faceoff will go to the goaltender's left. Alex Neverve has been good tonight. He's only seen two get past him. Faceoff one here by Arkansas. Turned away by Patterson. Nice little fake pass. Sends it down low, trying to center it. The Arkansas player, but he gets shoved off the puck. That's Ellis. Down to the corner. Bats it along near side. Now Arkansas trying to pick the puck out of the corner, and they do. Cruz back to Deskier. Deskier has a high slot shot, and he does. Blocker save, and that one goes into the stratosphere. I've been really impressed by Neverve tonight. Making a lot of great saves. Hasn't given up many rebounds and all the other rebounds. He's doing stuff like that. Kicking it to the corner, knocking him out of play. Not giving Arkansas those second chance opportunities. 10-42, second period. Face off to the right in their verve. One ahead here by the Cyclones. Another loose puck. They send it to the far boards. That was Hilt. Arkansas turns it right back into the zone. Giving chase now is Cruz. Cruz lining up a hip check. Hits his man, but Arkansas has got to be careful. Three Cyclones were coming back the other way. They'll finally regroup in their own zone. Picked up here. A little back pass. Stolen away. Booted along by Arkansas. The offside checked up and back the other way comes Harris. Harris takes a big hit there by Ellis. All the way back to Odeline. Outlet pass. Hits the stick of Cruz. No icing. He'll chase after it. Cruz with a man in his hip pocket. That's Gusky. Gusky knocks him off his skates. Patterson with the puck. Has a man at the point. Leaves it for Odeline. Little tic-tac pass there to Ellis. Tries to dump it deep. Leaves it for LaPlante. He'll back one back along. Is a big hit check in the corner there by the Cyclones. Another hit by Odeline lined up. Springs a man for the Cyclones, but Arkansas able to recover. LaPlante with it now. Arkansas with the majority of the possession in this period as well. LaPlante right on the spot. Sends it to the near side. Valentini giving chase. He's in Herricks's hip pocket again. He'll line up a hit. Sent to the near side. Lynch. Lynch looking to break out of the zone. The Cyclones just want to regroup. Arkansas not letting them breathe. A huge hit by Valentini. Tipped along. Comes all the way down. No icing here as LaPlante's going to get to it before it clears the red line, and that's going to give some reprieve to this Cyclones team. Pinched along the far side boards, a scrum for it there, including LaPlante, who just throws his man to the ground. No whistle. The ref is right on top of it. Now uh, LaPlante finally cross-checks him. He got away with one. Don't test it a second time. Maybe a little bit of guilt there. Yeah, threw him on the ice on that first one, and then you'll see he's, as he's getting up, here's LaPlante, turns right around. Cross checks him there, and that's going to be a two minute minor penalty for LaPlante. You know, we praised him for cleaning that stuff up. He used to have, lead this team in penalty minutes. He doesn't this year, didn't last year. But uh, tonight, he's taken a couple of penalties, and one of them might cost this Arkansas team. Yeah, this is a great chance for Iowa State to get back into this game, trailing only two to nothing here. Still nine minutes to play in the second period. A lot of time left, and you got to take advantage of the man opportunities. Plant is saying to the linesman. Oh, Arkansas thinks it's a four on four. Um, I don't believe that's the case. They're probably going to kick LaPlante out of this game if he keeps it up. They're going to give him a misconduct. Choosing a non-penalty killer and Zach Wilson to serve it, though. And I think LaPlante's night is done. He is unhappy as he heads to the locker room. Uncalled for penalty, and then you just got to know when to keep your mouth shut there, and it's going to cost them the rest of this game. And Arkansas down one of their key defensemen. This is why they dress seven. Face off one back by the Cyclones. Here's an opportunity for Iowa State. Big chance to swing the momentum. The skier, though, 
Stepping up now in his newfound role as possibly the top defenseman on this left side. As LaPlante finds his way out of the game, still only at two minutes that Arkansas has to kill off. As there's a centering pass out front, can't quite jar it loose. Arkansas does slam it out of the zone. Boy. A lot of pinball being played as Kessel sends it to the far side. Here comes Iowa State near side boards. They're gonna to try to work it into the zone, and they do. As Jarecki sends it hard around, far side, picked up there by Fermel. Fermel fields the puck, right-handed stick back to the point. It's fielded there by Haar. Haar near side, Kessel shot, tipped in front, bounding high into the air. Arkansas lucky to get away with one there. Another shot there by Haar, goes high off the crossbar. Dusenka may have gotten a piece of that. As it just jarred off the corner of the upright there. Arkansas takes it away and slams it back into the zone into Skier. Finally able to get off the ice. Regrouping now in their own zone, Kessel. Bryce Kessel with the puck. The captain sends one near side. He's got Zilli. Outlet pass. Finds Garcia. Garcia's been one of their more dangerous forwards tonight as Odeline whiffs on one there. A rare miss there from the defenseman as Arkansas tries to keep it out of the net, and they do. Near side boards, Hewerman. He gets stacked up there. Picked up in the corner now by Gusky. Gusky centering pass, comes back to the point. Shot blocked down by Valentini. Couldn't quite get it out of the zone. Another shot blocked down. Arkansas trying to clear it, and they do. Giving chases Valentini. He's got a head of steam. Coming out of the net is Neverb. He slams one off the boards near side, and O'Connor able to field it. Nine seconds to go in the ISU penalty. Valentini turned himself into a penalty killer as that is finally killed off. Five on five action into the zone now. The shot in front, batted down there by Valentini. Cyclones play it back into the zone. They'll get a change as well. Huberman and Odeline working with it there. A little tic-tac as Estrada comes away with it. Arkansas trying to work it out of the zone. In the white unis working from right to left. Estrada, a little stopping move. Beats a couple of guys, leaves the puck there. Another shot goes well wide of the net. Odeline pinching down from his D spot. A couple of Arkansas Razorbacks covering for him there. Outlet pass, Huerman off the heel of his stick, but he picks it up and controls it. Odeline near side now, 6.30 to go. The Cyclones have been able to apply some pressure here after that penalty. And after the ejection of LaPlante, near side boards Robinson to play it here for the Cyclones. They're trying to work it out of the zone. Behind the net now, Robinson leaves it here. And they'll try to work it out of the zone. Arkansas picks it up, though. Nice steal there on the forecheck. Just jabbing at it there was Estrada. Wilson and Sugasawara both on the ice with their line mate as Rees takes it behind the net. Rees going to leave it here for Griffin Sugasawara. Tries the outlet pass, shut down there by Robinson. Another good back check there by Romero. He'll send one to the far side boards, and Arkansas has got a retreat. Usenka paddles it along, 5.42 to go. And it looks like Iowa State couldn't get back on side. And Arkansas is going to flip the ice, and get an offensive zone faceoff for it. They'll be able to get a fresh set of legs out there as well. 5.39 to go, second period. Arkansas with a successful penalty kill thanks to a trusty crossbar keeping Iowa State out of the back of the net. Hershey to take the face off for Arkansas. Haven't seen this line much since the first period. Borless is out there as well. This one's played along. Arkansas looking for the puck. Lots of Hershey on the ice along with Borless. This one's jabbed into the zone and it's gloved down by Dusenka. Been a pretty clean game, though, for the most part. Neither team is really up the chippiness just yet. Arkansas's lone frustration got kicked out. Yeah, Arkansas has been physical on the ice, but they've all been clean hits. Iowa State's kept it pretty clean as well. Base off to the left. One back here. McAtee picks it up. Rolls one along the boards, far side. Borlis just chips it past his man, but not out of the zone. Dumped back in by the Cyclones. McAtee with it. This is the guy you want with the puck, if you're either team. <laughs> Arkansas with it. Dumped into the zone there by Lots, and losing his stick is Neverve. This is going to be a dangerous situation. Puck comes out front, shot, wound up, blocked down. A couple of sticks on the ice, both Iowa State's. 
as they're trying to just kick that stick back to the net. Here's Deskier, his shot's paddled down. As Arkansas diving after it, trying to keep the pressure on. Navarre able to retrieve his stick. A little bit of a scrum there at center ice. Arkansas trying to get the puck away, tied up in the boots there of Lotz. Into the offensive zone, Kessel. And now Arkansas comes away with it. This is Deskier, holds up a pass near side. Lotz just flips one towards the net. Blockered down easily there by Neverve. Picked up on the near side boards, Lupo. Lupo to break out, he gets shut down. Here comes Arkansas, Morliss on the back post. Fires one in front, almost went off a skate into the net. O'Connor was there, big hit by Odeline. Arkansas far side, McAtee shot wheeled high. Comes back to the point. This is Odeline, Odeline. Back to McAtee, he wires one on net, rebound out front and sent down the ice. No icing, Desenka coming way out of his net. And Cam McAtee picks it up. Cam McAtee takes a big hit there. Look knee to knee. No call. Flying around is Robinson though, he's up the four check pressure. Arkansas will send this one ahead and just giving Chase's Cruz. No icing here, it checks up. Back behind the net. Big hit there by Cruz to shield his man off the puck. Arkansas looking for it. Blue line, that's Odeline. He shovels it back down low, picked up here now by Kessel. Kessel leaves the puck for his man, but Ellis is going to get it instead for Arkansas. On his backhand, lays one off. Cruz gets taken off the puck. Two minute once there by Herricks. Into the zone, back the other way. Into the zone, fires a shot off the face mask. What a save. Boy, an excellent opportunity for the freshman Carson Hilt. As Arkansas is up the physicality, Romero a hit. The puck has become secondary in this game. And back the other way comes Cruz. Cruz into the zone, has a man streaking to the net. That was Patterson, an opportunity. As here comes O'Connor, two on two the other way. Another shot, big angle shut down and a nice job shutting him down by Romero. Into the offensive zone again come the Cyclones. They only had four guys on the ice there for a second. Just to check up the offside. So this one's sent up and out of play. There have been times in this period where you wonder uh, what game they're playing out there. Yeah, you said uh, Wilson put a hit on somebody, and I'm looking at Arkansas on the other side of the ice with a puck, wondering what's going on, but no calls. And then we saw the knee-to-knee -knee hit to McAtee. Luckily, he popped right back up. Yeah, that's a yeah, that's one you don't want to see. They play on. Kicked ahead here by Valentini. Rees back behind the net, two and a half to go. Two to nothing lead for Arkansas. Looking for the outlet pass, just flips one back to center ice. McLean with the puck, finds a man near side. This looks like a set play as Valentini fires it right into the eye in Iowa State. Yeah, it looks like they're having a bit of fun with that one. Not your typical breakout. Flip it up to the center. Catch the winger coming up. And we know Valentini can put those shots in the back of the net. He's got a couple from the point this year. One of them a blind shot. Probably the best shot I've ever seen. 2.17 to go, second period, two to nothing. Scherer to take the face off. He's got his blind mate Valentini on the ice. Valentini plays it along, left-handed stick, back to the point, stolen away momentarily by the Cyclones. Held in though nicely by Reeves. Good to see him back out on the ice. Didn't play last year. McLean with it behind the net. Kind of caught up in his skates. McLean tries to take it away. He's battling hard along the boards there with Raphael. Comes to the near side, Kessel gets lined up. Arkansas quick to the puck, and that's Shearer. This one lifted high out of the zone. Tried to stick it down with Valentini, and again, Dusenka makes the smart play and comes out and just covers it up. Yeah, the first time he did that was ill-advised. This one, he makes sure he's the first one to the puck and plays it a little bit safer. Gets the freeze, both teams will get a change, and. We'll get some fresh legs for the final 145 of this second period. The first one just looked a little half-hearted is all. He couldn't really make the full decision to go, and he ends up in no man's land. Luckily, it did not result in a Cyclones goal. Taking the face off here is Gusky against Suga Sawara. Arkansas getting their top line out there along with McAtee. Shot blocked up into the air, swatted down there by Arkansas, and that's a hand pass. A necessary one, but a hand pass. You don't want to... Puck trickling up in the air like that, bouncing around. It could do funny things. The ACHA hand passes are not allowed in the defensive zone. 
like you may be accustomed to. So they'll blow it dead and we'll have another face off. Gusky to take it against Wilson this time. They're gonna kick Wilson out of the circle. It's like McAtee is getting into it on the other side as well. A little bit of stick checking, Arkansas up. Two to nothing right now as this one slammed back to the point. Backhanded along, Arkansas trying to pick it up and that's Sugasawara trying to work it out of the zone. That one finds its way onto the Iowa State bench. 1.28 to go in the period. Still very much a game here. Arkansas leading this one two to nothing. Iowa State has not looked out of it. They've continued to get some shots on Dusenko who's looked excellent in goal tonight as has his counterpart Neverve on the other side of the ice. Arkansas wins this faceoff turning move. Here's McAtee's got a man in his hip pocket out. The pass finds Sugasawara. Sugasawara has a man near side. Estrada fires a shot instead higher than that. That one whistled high. 1.13 to go in the period. A big hit laid on by Sugasawara. And O'Connor takes a number down. Wheeling around is Herricks. Herricks loses the puck, and here comes Estrada. He'll play it off the boards to himself. Brad Estrada centering pass, blocked down. He's in ahead here by Iowa State as Rees controls it at center ice. He's going to see an increase in action. As Estrada works it into the zone, the puck comes loose. It's worked out of the zone now by the Cyclones, and McAtee tries to chip it back in. Here comes Sugasawara with a head of steam. The stick checked off the puck. Back to the point, McAtee's shot whistles wide and almost tipped on goal there by Wilson. 35 seconds to go in the period. Wilson back to the point, finds Rees. Rees with the puck, tries to pass in front, and that's Wilson's shot going wide again. 27 seconds to go in the period. Back to the point again. McAtee, a little head fake. He's going to work it to the near side. He's going to try to line up a shot, makes a stick handling move into the low slot, shoots and scores! A solo play from the All-American, and Arkansas takes a 3 to nothing lead. You got to know when Cameron McAtee has the puck in the offensive zone, he will skate and skate and be patient, take his time until the play is there, whether it's passing it off or taking a shot like this, finding the top corner, beating the goaltender Neverve glove side in Arkansas, takes a 3 to nothing lead with only 16 seconds remaining in the second period. What a goal by the All-American, two-time All-American, two-time first-team All-American. Arkansas has taken firm control of this game. Two second period goals have given them the elusive three goal lead. Six seconds to go in the period. Whips on a pass, a quick shot off the stick. Three seconds to go in the period. Arkansas has got to kill the rest of this period off, and they do. Arkansas calling the Hogs due to that third goal, but a perfect way to exit the ice for the Razorbacks as they take a three to nothing lead here into this second intermission and have really taken control of this game. And Iowa State has seemed to be in it to this point, but they're running out of time and now trail three goals. Well, and Iowa State really seemed to pick it up there in the middle part of that penalty period. It was the penalty to apply. It really kind of got them going and there were plenty of chances at one just off the corner of the crossbar. Boy, that could have turned the tide in this game, and instead they're still held scoreless through 40 minutes. Absolutely. Both teams good on the penalty kill. Both teams have been good on the power play so far in Arkansas. Looks to come out in the third period and really close out another home win against a, a pretty good team here in Iowa State. Well, Keller Sims and Andrew Falls have a lot to talk about with their team in the locker room as they take a 3 to nothing lead into the third period. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in 15 minutes.
We're back here at the Jones Center in Springdale, Arkansas, where your Hogs lead by a score of three to nothing. Alongside me again is Corey Porter. My name is EJ Sanders as we get ready to start this third period of action. And this is where the money's made, Corey. Uh, if you're going to win games, you got to be able to hold leads. And a three goal lead's a scary one to hold on to, but Arkansas has been pretty good through the first two periods. Yeah, Joseph Dusank has been excellent in net. And on the other side of the ice, the Cyclones are going to need Alex Neverve to keep playing as well as he has, but they got to give him a little bit of help as they have given up three goals on the evening. And that is the difference here as Arkansas looks to close this one out in the third period. Kevin LaPlante back out on the ice, a regular misconduct, a correction from order earlier. As we look now at the scoring summary, Michael Ellis in the first period put them on the board. Uh, on that breakaway into the offensive zone. And then Cruz barreling to the front of the net, gets a goal from Lots and McAtee. And then McAtee, basically a solo effort, skates around the defense and puts one in the back of the net. And that's where we sit. Three to nothing, Arkansas. 20 minutes goes onto the board. The center ice faceoff getting ready to be taken. And Arkansas needs to close this one out. Scherer to take it for Arkansas against Guskey. Scherer wins this one back. He's been one of the better off offensive faceoff guys of the night. This one sent to the far side, sent into the offensive zone, loading up a hit is Romero. He barrels over a man, but the puck comes free. McLean fakes a pass to the far side, tries to shovel one along, couldn't find his man. Odeline making another run here. Odeline has quite a few hits already in this game. Odeline, backhanded pass, near side boards, McAtee. Trying to field it on the boards here in his own corner. McAtee off the boards is stolen away here by Gusky. Gusky trying to fight off Trevor McLean. Now Valentini works it ahead into the neutral zone. Gusky back pass finds Kessel, far side to Har into the neutral zone. This puck just loose everywhere. McLean streaking into the zone near side boards and McAtee finally regroups for the Hogs. One minute out of 20 gone here in this first, or third period, I should say. The D to D pass, finds his man, comes back to the near side. Kessel, outlet pass, comes all the way down, no icing, beating it out is Zillig. Zillig centering pass, knocked down by McAtee. Zillig skating with it, far side board, stolen away, and here comes Estrada. Estrada shields a man off the puck, finds Wilson streaking into the zone, leaves it for Sugaswar, toe drag move into the low circle. Nice pad save, and Arkansas will work it back to the point to skier. Knocks it back into the zone, loaded up for Sugasawara again. Another shot wide of the net. Estrada controls it, tries to wrap it near side. He fires a shot, goes up into the air and out of play. Wilson battling in front of the net, and boy, the minutes in front of the net have been earned by Arkansas, as it's no longer the second intermission. And it is the third period. We run all right as a two-man team, huh? <laughs> Doing our best out here as a quick shot off the faceoff is taken here by the Cyclones. To the rebound, went to the behind the net. Arkansas is going to pick it up here. This is Zach Wilson chasing after the puck. Backhand, forehand, in front, slams at it there. Couldn't quite knock it home. Here's Sugasawara. He gets shielded off the puck and held down there by Herricks. Herricks in the corner. He's got penalty minutes tonight. Arkansas trying to get it away. That's Zach Wilson. McAtee finally gets it at the blue line, has a man on the far side to skier. High circle shot, goes off the side of the net. Wilson with it, little backhand pass, tried to work it through. Sifts it back to the point, finds McAtee. McAtee trying to work his way through the defense. Shot blocked down by his own man, Sugasawar, tried to get a tip on it. Shot wide of the net, Estrada going to field it on the far side. A good shift here by this top line, finally stolen away and chipped into the zone. And a big hit laid on there by Arkansas. That was Zach Wilson. Don't see him making too many runs, but Dylan Haar took a big hit there. Near side boards now, offensive zone. Hilt trying to work it into the zone, but Arkansas steals it away. Cruz blows another tire. Second or third time we've seen that tonight. Ice probably still wet out there. All the way down as Rees gets loaded up. Puck loose behind the net, sent along the boards. Far side held into the zone. No, Cyclones can't get it. In the zone, and now Ellis takes it away, fires a shot high, hits the high glass. Estrada fields it in the corner. Sorry, that's Patterson. Patterson trying to work it along. He's got Ellis down below the goal line. The puck finally comes free. Ellis centering pass, looking for a spare stick out there, and Cruz's pass goes begging. 
Rees will recover, 16.49 to go, third period. Bank pass, far side ice. Odeline now, below the goal line, outlet pass off the heel of the stick of Patterson, and regrouping here is Raphael. He'll lay a pass off for Bryce Kessel. Kessel to Raphael, across the red line. Lifts it high into the zone, end over end, and into the offensive zone comes streaking. That's Gerber, he gets upended. Robinson with the puck. Centering pass out front, had a man. Just goes under the toe of the stick. Near side boards, Rees able to punch it ahead, and here comes Cruz. He avoids a hit, spins past a man. Picked up here by O'Connor. Hard around to the other side. Ellis trying to field it. He's got two Cyclones on him. And this has come to a complete stop. Trying to dig it out of there. Finally comes free Gerber, able to pick it loose. Patterson lays a hit on, steals the puck away. Centering pass, comes out front, shut down. Nice job by the Cyclones, and they'll work it out of the zone. Robinson, Alex Robinson, the freshman, coming into the offensive zone. Cruz lays a pass off Rees. Far side now, Odeline. Arkansas regroups, just over four minutes gone. Patterson, outlet pass, far side, into the zone comes Ellis, just avoids a hit. Ellis just wants to hold the puck, should have dumped it in, instead the Cyclones take it away. Ellis has to be careful. And he got a free cross check in there as Romero steals the puck away. Back and forth at center ice. Finally gets dumped into the Arkansas zone. Comes twirling along. Arkansas trying to glove it down. They cannot. Passed along. The Cyclones not able to get any offensive zone time. And here comes Borlas the other way. He's streaking down the near side of the ice. Coming down to help him out is Lotz. He's got a man trailing. That's Hershey. Lotz on his backhand right now, makes a turning move, gets to his forehand, tries to leave one for Hershey, and it's batted away. Back up the near side comes Fermel. Fermel gets knocked off the puck. Arkansas looking to steal it away. And they do at center ice. Sent back the other way by Lotz and fielded here by Kessel. Kessel down in the corner. He's going to control the puck and slow it down. Arkansas doesn't want to slow it down, though, and they'll throw a puck right at the net and get a quick faceoff. 14.40 to go in the third. Looks like LaPlante making his way back out onto the ice. Looked like he came out of the penalty box. May have been serving the remainder of his penalty, finally back out there. He went in for about 50 seconds there, but he's not able to get out until there was a stoppage. He's back to the point, McAtee throws one through traffic, but it's sticked up and out of play. Colin Frank getting in the way there. Scherer to take the face off left of Neverve and the Cyclones come away with it. They're whirling up the near side of the boards. Arkansas able to steal it away. McLean an outlet pass is booted down and now back the other way come the Hogs. Valentini into the offensive zone. He'll leave one at the high circle. Kept in here by LaPlante. LaPlante back on the ice after the misconduct. It's going to be McLean sends it near side boards. McAtee. McAtee jams one along. Valentini lays the puck there, and Scherer is going to pick it up on the far side. Backhands one back to the point. LaPlante regrouping. Now finds McAtee. High circle. Throws a shot towards the net well wide. As Valentini is going to pick it up here. Back to the point again. LaPlante near side. McAtee. Same play. McAtee this time. A back post pass. Just missed the stick of Scherer. Arkansas giving chase. LaPlante with it again. He'll send it to the corner this time. Kessel down there to field it for the Cyclones. Wrestling with it there, and Arkansas able to hold the line just momentarily. Ahead of steam come the Cyclones, though, as they got to try to get the puck away, and they do. Good back check there by Scherer and McAtee. McAtee ends up with the puck behind the net. 13-31 to go, third period, 3 to nothing. Arkansas. McAtee fakes to break out there. He's got Bueller covering him in front of the net. McAtee just waited for him to commit, and now he's going to skate it up the ice himself. Near side boards, here comes McLean into the zone. Low shot, rebounds out front, nobody home for Arkansas. O'Connor gets lined up there by LaPlante. LaPlante down low, steals the puck away. Centering pass, looking for the streaking Sugasawara. Couldn't find him. Estrada with the puck. He'll lift it into the zone and give chase. LaPlante going off for a change along with McLean. That gets Wilson. And Romero on the ice. A big hit in the corner there by Sugasawara, and he's going to go to the box. We'll see what the call is here. Might have taken a couple steps. Might be a roughing here. A rare penalty for Griffin Sugasawara. At four penalty minutes last season. He'll take two here.
12.51 to go, third period. And it looks like it's going to be more than two minutes for Suga Sawara. He's having to leave the ice. And that looks like... Five-minute major penalty. It looks like he may have gotten a penalty for hitting a guy in the head. Yeah, he, he took a bit of a run at him. I think he took a couple of steps. He lowered the shoulder. I don't believe we got a replay of that one, but may have hit him up high, and the referee's going to send him off the ice for it. And Iowa State, really good chance here with a five-minute major penalty to Arkansas. That gives them five minutes of, of man advantage regardless of how many times they score. Face off coming to the right of Dusanka. This one's banked along the near side boards and out of the zone. Cruz opts to let this one be recovered by Bryce Castle. Not certain what they're pointing at here. Comes to the near side. Outlet pass broken up by Cruz. Turned away by Odeline at the blue line. He'll send this one now on the ice nearly on goal. Kessel down there to field it. Playing center field right now is Kessel. And he'll send it to the near side. Outlet pass, looking to break into the zone. Arkansas has been good at shutting down this Iowa State team so far tonight. But this is a big penalty to kill off. 4.32 to go on the major penalty to Griffin Sugasawara. Just netted more penalty minutes than he did all last season in one go. As Cruz skates it in, a little head fake there, tries to work past a player. Kessel able to shield him off the puck and finally turned aside by the Cyclones. Cruz not giving up too easily, though. Ellis on the ice now for the Hawks. He's going to line his man up and steal the puck away. Good penalty kill here from the Arkansas Razorbacks. It's going to be a long one as it's turned over at center ice and turning back the other way is Dylan Haar. He gets shut down by McAtee. Absolutely he knocks one of the banners off. And all the way down again. Down into the corner, fielding it here. It's going to be Herricks. Herricks with the puck. Herricks looking to work it out of the zone across the blue line. Right-handed stick on his backhand. Hewerman came over to make a hit as this shot is on. And Dusenka able to make the save. And McAtee's going to go to the box. A little bit of pushing and shoving in front. I didn't think it was... Anything too egregious, but Arkansas, it may be a five on three. Some undisciplined play by the Razorbacks tonight. So it'll be two minutes of a five on three. LaPlante still working the linesman here. 11.29 to go, third period. Arkansas has got to show more discipline than this. Now or never for the Cyclones as well. Running out of time in this game. Under 11.30 to play. They trail by three goals. They really got to get possession of this puck, and it starts with this faceoff. Coach Sims wants to talk with the referee, and he's uh, shook his head, no, not right now. A lot of yelling over the music. Keller about to be heard by the entire crowd, getting red in the face. Zach Wilson trying to give his guys some time. Iowa State with a great opportunity here as Arkansas clears the zone immediately after getting that face off. Picked up here by Iowa State's goaltender, and he'll leave it behind the net. Good chance for the Cyclones, five on three. Wilson on the ice right now, into the zone. Skating hard is Hilt. Hilt gets shoved off the puck. LaPlante has another man to line up, and he'll shoulder him into the boards. Five on three, Wilson on the ice. Not normally a penalty killer you see out there a ton. Down low below the goal line, Gusky back to the point, works it along a shot there, is fired wide by Harris. Eric's down low, finds Hilt, Hilt with it now. Hilt kind of whiffs on the pass, high circle now. Sends it back to the point. It's going to be O'Connor, near side. Herricks, Herricks loses the puck in his skates and loading him up is Laplant. Opportunistic, sent down low, shot off the post. Nice opportunity there from Michael Garcia. He loads up a pass, far side of the ice, picked up here, back to the point. O'Connor shot, tipped in front, wide of the net. The skier now with a minute gone here in the five on three. 
Back to the point again. Picked up O'Connor near side. Another shot by Herricks. Tipped in front wide of the net. Garcia with it. The Cyclones buzzing the net right now. Right-handed stick has a man in front. Tipped away. Puck comes loose. Back to the point. O'Connor loads up a pass. Sends it near side. Has Herricks. Herricks high circle. Trying to load up a shot. As O'Connor far side now high circle. He'll fire a shot through traffic. Nice save again by Dusenka. And Arkansas clears the ice. They'll get fresh skates out. And it comes all the way back down. This is going to be an icing. And they blow it dead. What a turn of events there for the Hogs. And with 28 seconds left in the McAtee minor for roughing. And 10 minutes gone in this third period. Good control on the power play there for Iowa State, but unable to get a whole lot going towards Joseph Tisenka. Was forced to make a save right there a few seconds ago. Gave up a big rebound out in front, but the defense was able to clear it away. And now Arkansas with an offensive zone faceoff. Faceoff comes to the left. Neverve. Six guys on the ice there for Iowa State. That is uh, one too many. Six skaters, I should say. Ellis to take the face off for Arkansas, wins it back, and Arkansas is going to retreat. 26 seconds to go. And the penalty to get back to five on four. A huge hit taken by Romero. He gets shoved hard into the boards, but sends it back behind the net. And Odeline lines one up and sends it down the ice. 14, 13 to go. Laid back behind the net by Neverve. It'll be a minute, about a minute 38 here to kill off for Arkansas on the major penalty to Sugasawara. Back on the ice, McAtee. Cher are gonna take his spot immediately. Arkansas begging for a penalty here, no calls. Shot in front, tipped just wide of the net. 124 to go, back to the point, sent across. Picked up here, another shot, tipped in front and a glove save. Boy, Joseph Dusenka has been on his game. We just haven't been able to call his name a lot. Yeah, absolutely. He's being uh, really quietly having a great game here. Iowa State doesn't have a whole lot of shots, but ones like that and shows you what Joseph Tusenka can do. Sees it all the way into the glove and holds on for the whistle in a key spot for Arkansas. Minute 19 left in the penalty. A major penalty. Patterson in the box for Arkansas. Serving the rest of that. Sent down the ice by Arkansas. Towards the goal. Played here by Neverve. He'll just scoop it to the near side boards where McLean chases. McLean a little stick lift. Sent back along there by Kessel. Arkansas tries to bat it down in the zone. They don't. Puck comes loose. Picked up here. And McLean will bat it back into the zone. Kessel again. 56 seconds to go. And we'll see if this puts Griffin Sugasawar out of the game for tomorrow as well. As Zillig skates into the zone. Scherer sends one hard around the boards. It's kept over there by Freemel. Back to the point. Kessel, near side now, has his man. Zilly shot goes wide, tried to tip it in front there. It was hard. Back to the point again. Kessel loading up another one. Through traffic, glove save. Right to the body. 31 seconds left in this ISU power play. Great job by Dusenka to hold on to those rebounds, knowing his team is outnumbered in front of him, making those saves not giving those second chance opportunities to the Cyclones and keeping them off the board even through this four and a half minutes or so of the major penalty in the five on three as well. Cyclones still on the power play, 31 seconds to go in this major penalty. That cost Arkansas a quarter of this period. O'Connor, far side. Picked up, coming into the zone now. This one comes all the way down. LaPlante gonna skate and beat it out for the icing. Just not fast enough was Donnie Gusky. And the Schaumburg, Illinois native will have to skate back to his own zone. And Arkansas might just kill this one off. Eight oh eight to go and Arkansas could do without the heartbreak. Three to nothing lead. Face off to the left side. Going to be taken here by Hershey for Arkansas. Lots pinching down there. It's finally picked up behind the net. Here comes O'Connor the other way. He gets slammed down into the boards, and that's going to be a major penalty also. That's going to be on Ian Lots. Delayed penalty. 
Arkansas going to get one back and send one right back to the box as soon as there's a stoppage here as Lotz tries to run this puck down. Centering pass out front, batted aside. Arkansas can't get the puck away, still can't touch the puck. Near side boards. Garcia's pass finally touched up by McAtee, and he'll send it down the ice. 7.42 to go. Lotz will head to the box for a board. See if this will be two or five. Yeah, I just hit him right from behind, just chased him down. They'll call that every time. The penalty to Suga Sawara. Sorry about that. Hope you guys enjoyed that replay. Showed it about 100 times. Faceoff will come to the right. Cyclones with the puck down low now. They're going to try to work the puck back to the point. Sit back down. Arkansas with it in front and a little pass out there. Cyclones trying to come away with it below the goal line now. Arkansas with it. They'll send it down the ice for Merrill. Cyclones trying to field this puck, and they will. That's Kessel back behind the net. Near side now. Into the zone. Kessel drops a pass back. Going to shovel it along. There's Dylan Haar. Odeline with it. Odeline trying to work it back along. Odeline into the offensive zone. High slot. Has an opportunity here on the penalty kill. Couldn't quite. Knock that one home. Back behind the net here. All right, the puck did not make it that far. Finally picked up here by Hershey. Chipped back along. Romero with the puck, just trying to skate off some time. Sends it down the ice off the glove of his man. That hit a glove and it hit the goaltender. No hand pass called here, though. Comes back to the near side. Iowa State looking to break out of the zone. Picked up here by Hilt. Hilt making a turning move. Stick handling through the offensive zone, trying to work it past the guy, and he does. McAtee finally lines him up. The skier with it. Near side boards. Finally picked up in the corner here by Garcia off the back of the net. 15 seconds to go in the penalty kill for Arkansas. Back to the point. Held in here, O'Connor sends it along, down low, below the goal line, looking for the centering pass, had a man just under the toe of the stick, and that will end the power play for ISU. Here come the Cyclones, 5.35 to go in this game. Arkansas takes a man off the puck, finally picked up by Deskier to McAtee. McAtee has Deskier on the near side. Banks the pass along. It's picked off here by Garcia. He gets blocked down, and Arkansas turns it the other way. Into the neutral zone. Here comes Cam McAtee. Three on three the other way. McAtee in front. Shoots. Scores! McAtee to Hewerman. And Arkansas takes a commanding four to nothing lead. McAtee picking up the loose puck. Just finding the man in front. Just get a stick on a redirect it. Nothing the Verve could do about that one. And Arkansas leads this one four to nothing. Face off one back here by the Cyclones. They'll send it into their own zone. Four to nothing, Arkansas leads. All they gotta do is wrap up the last few minutes of this game. Dusanka sends it to the far side boards. Arkansas trying to work it out of the zone. It's been all Razorbacks here. As the Cyclones have had some opportunities. Not certain who they're gonna get a penalty for here. At least initially it looked like Iowa State, but Kevin LaPlante's in the mix as well, so. Looks like he's drawn a little bit. 
And an interference call against Iowa State. Yeah, Eric Gerber was holding his leg on that one. So Arkansas will go on the power play here. 4.56 to go in the third period. Face off will come to the left of Neverve. Gusky to take it for the Cyclones. Four to nothing, Arkansas leads. McAtee with the puck. Sends it far side. Here's Wilson loading one up on the power play. Arkansas near side. Now Estrada back to McAtee. Loads one up, tipped in front, and tracking it the whole way. It was Neverve. McAtee with a change up. A little bit of off speed. Didn't get all of that one. Neverve quick to react to it, covers it up. Nice play. Hogs will have a face-off here, leading four to nothing with 4.44 to go. Back to the point, McAtee, back to Wilson. Wilson, the right-handed stick, loads up a pass, goes off a skate and out of play. Off the skate of Jack Raphael from White Bear Lake, Minnesota, has a goal on the season. The top heavy team here in Iowa State. Only a few goal scorers here, but only two games played. They're still looking to net their first one tonight. As Gusky takes the faceoff again against Ellis. Ellis has been excellent in the faceoff circle for Arkansas, and he'll win one back here again. Strada not able to chip it down, and back the other way comes Kessel. Kessel with a head of steam into the offensive zone. He's on his backhand, though, trying to work one along, and Wilson just shields him off the puck. Kessel's got a big body and can skate pretty fast, but Ellis is going to take it up the other way, stolen away again. Nice job by Kessel. And the captain dumps it in. Been a long night for him, though. A lot of minutes logged for Kessel. 4.12 to go here. McAtee near side boards, finds Huberman. Huberman going to skate it into the offensive zone. Got a man in his hip pocket. Makes a stopping move as Har pins him along the near side boards. Four minutes to go now. McAtee going to control it at the point. McAtee dangerous with the puck. He's got a man on the far side. That's Wilson. Loads one up for him. Back post pass finds Estrada. Chips it over and off the side of the net. Chipped it right over the goaltender. Estrada almost had a goal. Back to the point, though. Here's McAtee. Arkansas keeps control. 46 seconds to go on the power play. Picked up here by Wilson. Wilson at the high slot. Leaves one here. McAtee's high circle shot kicked aside. Picked up here by Ellis. Ellis, a little head fake there now down below the goal line. Loads one up. Sends one to the far side boards. Picked up here by McAtee. He'll throw one towards the net high. Picked up in front. Trying to shovel one into the goal was Hewerman. Been excellent tonight. Hewerman has one of the freshmen for this team, and he's showing why he's an addition for this Razorbacks offense. 3.10 to go, 14 seconds left in the power play. Arkansas content with just letting the rest of this game run out as Scherer makes a head fake around one guy. Scherer into the offensive zone, centering pass, goes right past the stick of Valentini. Laplano pinched down. Five on five action. O'Connor with the puck. He'll send one off the heel of the skate into the offensive zone come the Cyclones, only to be turned away again. Valentini dumps it into the zone. Arkansas with 2.37 to go. Share just going to pin it in the far side corner. This is the line you want on the ice if you just want puck control. That's Cruz. Cruz shovel pass in front, couldn't find his man as Valentini gets tied up there. Skate gets caught up in the stick there, and Deskier will load up a shot, fire it wide. Hits the blue paint. Finally chipped along, now O'Connor with it. Makes a turning move. He's got a man in his hip pocket, that's Cruz. O'Connor still trying to work it out of the zone. A lot of stick checking there, finally coming away with it. Are the Cyclones only to be turned away again? Arkansas's four check has not relented for 58 minutes. And finally diving out onto the puck is Alex Neverve. 58 minutes of four checking and Arkansas still doesn't look like they've missed a step. That's the key to their game. Heavy, sustained pressure. And it turns into goals every time. Keep them out from in front of your net. Put the pressure on the other goaltender. Leads the wins more often than not. Shot right off the face off out of play. Hershey. <laughs> Let's out a 
Little uh, half yell there and a smile on his face. Just missed that one. He's wearing Salter's jersey tonight. Hopefully they get the new jerseys in before the next home weekend. The way we can uh, get these guys some actual numbers. A low shot save there. Well, Arkansas will be off next weekend before returning home. For a matchup with Missouri State before heading to Missouri State for the Route 66 Showcase. Face off one back in Arkansas will have to field it at the point. Odeline with it, he'll send it hard around the boards. Comes wheeling around to the near side now, 142 to go in this game. Back behind the net, picked up by Raphael. Jack Raphael on the far side, looks for the outlet pass. Nice job dragging the stick there by Hershey. And boy, this freshman line has really been something to behold. Done an excellent job. Odeline with it. Skate around one and another. Now Odeline to the neutral zone, lays one off. Borlas just out of reach. Feels like it's been right out of Borlas's reach most of the night. He's just been a step slow. Not normally his game, he's normally right on top of the puck. Take it away at the blue line, here come the Cyclones. A little head fake in front, fires a shot, shoulder save, and Dusenka preserves the goose egg. One minute to go though, and here comes Garcia. He's been dangerous with it tonight, poked off the puck. Hershey sends it up, Borlas giving chase. Banked off the boards, they got to check up and offside, and they'll touch it up instead. And Arkansas will have another faceoff. Good night. Joseph Dusenka yeah. really, really, really badly wants this yeah, They're going to try to make him earn it. His first shutout of the year, 46 seconds remain. That was the leading point scorer, Chris Frommel. Skating in and with an excellent opportunity there. Now back to the point. Rees holds it in, throws one in front, a little stick save there. Steered to the far side boards. Patterson giving chase for Arkansas. And your best defense is hundreds of feet away from your net. In this case, probably only 100 here at the Jones Center. This one's banked back along. Arkansas trying to pick it up. 25 seconds to go. Cyclones trying to break out and try to net one goal before the end of this one. Hewerman gets locked up there. Just sends it to the far side boards. And here's Patterson over to McLean. Behind the play, a little scuffle there as McLean takes it down into the Far side corner, now to the near side, 10 seconds to go. Rees sends it back along, picked up here by Hewerman. Hewerman in the corner, five seconds to go. And Arkansas is going to preserve the goose egg for Joseph Dusenka, his first shutout in two seasons. Four to nothing, Arkansas wins at home. Great team win by the Hogs. Starts with excellent goaltender play on the back end. Defense right in front of him, limiting the shots, limiting the second chance opportunities, and then out in front with the offense, putting up four goals to help support your goaltender. Is going to get you wins in this league. And Arkansas improves to 7-1. and one. And Iowa State drops their first game of the season to move them to 2-1. and one. Excellent performance by the Arkansas Razorbacks tonight. A formidable opponent in Iowa State, and they'll run it back tomorrow. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that game. We'll see if uh, Dusinka gets back out or if they give him a, a break after getting the shutout here today. And we see one of the younger goaltenders, whether it be Sam Haynes, Grady Reese, uh, both who have seen action so far this year. But it'll be interesting to see. And this Iowa State team, despite losing 4 to nothing today, really came to play, had good offense early, good puck movement, had some excellent chances. But uh, you're going up against Joseph Dusenko, who's been in this league a long time. He's, uh, he's an excellent player, and he showed that here tonight. Well, your final score tonight, Arkansas four to nothing. And again, this is gonna be one that Coach Sims is gonna be proud of his team, I think, for battling through uh, a lot of adversity, really uh, putting enough goals on the board and protecting your goaltender in a way. I mean, good defense in front of him. Uh, maybe one of the best defenses in the league in this Arkansas team. Yeah, absolutely. It's good to see them get a real test at home and uh, you know, still control the game. I feel like Iowa State, Took it to Arkansas a little bit more than they have seen in this arena in a long time. And Arkansas had to play tough. They had to play sound hockey, and they did that, and they came away with a victory. Well, Arkansas moves to 7-1 and one on the season, as you just mentioned, Corey, and they'll be back here tomorrow afternoon 
for a uh, late afternoon game with the same team, Iowa State Cyclones, who put up a fight tonight but couldn't get on the scoreboard. Your final score here from the Jones Center, Arkansas 4, Iowa State nothing. For Corey Porter, I'm E.J. Sanders. We'll see you tomorrow.